that's that. Now, all this stuff will overlap somewhat, slightly. Like, for instance, a lot of guys will have a little a little mess just off, uh, you know, eighth to uh, eighth to a quarter throttle, which is usually slide cut away. And I don't have the slide out of here. So let me pull the slide out and we'll see, I'll show it to you what I mean. Spring and you're going to have a little, uh, little cup on the end of the spring. So let me take this out of here and I'll show you what you don't want. So what happens sometimes, people put shims in there, and it, or depending on the carburetor. If I can get this back in here, I'll show you here. So it always helps to check this. You want your needle solid. You don't want to, you don't want to be able to move the needle up and down like that. That induces wear and the needle, you know, when the slides raised and the, this cup should fit down over top of the needle perfectly. Like so. It should be up against the top of the needle. Just like that. There's a little cup that sits in there to hold the needle down because you don't, you don't want the needle doing this, walking around in there. Because what will happen, and I've said this before, at, uh, at a uh, certain range, we'll just say the needle's up out of the, the slide's up, and if the needle's loose, it, if it's loose like, like this, it's walking around inside the needle jet, and then a telltale sign is you'll pull one apart, and you see where the needle's worn pretty damn good right in this area here where it's been floating around inside the needle jet. So you want this You want the uh, needle good and tight down in there, like so. I mean, that it's, it's never going to be perfectly tight, but you want it as you, you don't you don't want it like this. You want it with spring pressure on it, so you're not getting.